you know, one of the most challenging things for all of us is to make the journey from our head to our heart. And the ego lives in the head, and it's an illusory construct that's largely built by other people's ideas. So our, our life is often full of pain and challenges that are confusing to us, and we don't know why we keep doing things that get us in trouble and in pain. But when we learn to let our soul guide us, or our higher self guide us, then we have to come down into the domain of the heart, which is the center of integration and feeling for our whole psychoenergetic system. And so when I'm painting, I found that if I just sat down with a, a canvas and had no plan and just emptied myself and asked my soul for an image that would be something that would either be healing or something that would inspire me or whatever wanted to come out, I would begin to get visions. So I might see a horse with wings or I might see a mountainscape with a waterfall or any number of things. And then I would start painting and it was as though something was moving my brush. And I would paint things like I did this one right here because one of my patients who was uh, having a real challenge with endometriosis and was facing a hysterectomy and all of the women in her family were ha actually all had endometriosis and all of them had been told by a surgeon that they needed to have, their hyster uh, have a hysterectomy. And she came from a family of vegetarians and um, hmm. part of her journey was I had to get her to eat meat again, which caused a huge ruckus in the family and went against their religious beliefs. But she had a lot of um, unconscious drivers that she was not able to access. So I asked her to do an art exercise and she could not do it. She could not put the pencil or the pen or the color to canvas. It just, she just went into gridlock. So I said to her, I will do it with you. So I actually did her art exercise. Like moved her hand? No, I'll, like you I did her. the same exercise. So she was doing it at home in another state, but I was just saying, I'll do it with you so you know that I'm also doing it. It's kind of like if you have somebody in a house that's gluten intolerant, but everybody else is eating gluten, or if you have an alcoholic that's trying to get off of alcohol, acceptance. Mm -hmm. and people keep drinking, it's almost impossible to get off of it. So knowing that if I was doing it with her, then she would feel she had company in it, I painted that, which is exactly the same exercise I was asking her to do, and then all of a sudden, because I was painting, she opened up and she painted hers. Wow. So I kept that as a record for her to show her what happened when I connected to her and then painted with her presence inside of me. So it basically became fun because she could see what happened when I did her exercise. Mm. And then she was able to compare hers to mine. But there's an example of me sitting down and just letting it come through me while putting my awareness on her. And then symbolically, there's loads of stuff in there, you know? So when I analyzed it and then analyzed hers, they were saying the same kinds of things. So it, it basically allowed her to feel that she was, instead of riding a bicycle alone, like a little girl afraid to ride a bike, it was more like daddy's at the front and you just get on the back and pedal with me. And since mm -hmm. I'm already riding, you don't have to worry about falling off. So that is an example of how that one came about.